Does the United States school system know how to teach immigrant children? I was born in Puerto Rico, and at just six years old, I moved to the United States. I remember I had taken a few English classes so I could speak a little bit of English, but it wasn't very much. This would mean that every time there was an activity in the classroom, I would be taken out of the class and I would be given a toy SpongeBob computer. This would start the feeling that I felt like I didn't belong and I felt isolated. I would later on switch schools. I didn't know how to read or write in English, so this meant that every single day, instead of going to English class, I would go to a small class and every single morning we would watch a video called Conjunction Junction by Schoolhouse Rock. I didn't know, I didn't learn how to read or write in English until I was in third grade. I remember this one time, this kid had asked the other kid, why don't you want Elisha on your team? And they said, because I was dumb. And to make the situation worse, I had all D's and F's. So this, so what that kid say would reinforce the belief in me that I was dumb because I didn't know how to read or write and that I didn't belong. Why should people be concerned? The United States system doesn't know how to deal with children who English is not their first language. I remember one time a teacher was down my throat, and this is one of the many occasions I would have with this teacher, and she was so upset and so angry with me because I couldn't spell a simple word. She traumatized and hurt me so much that to this day I remember the word. It was strawberry. The United States system didn't protect me from people like her and didn't know how to serve me. In a study done by Anna KCE quotation, it said that only 8% of immigrant children will get a proficient or above in their English test, while compared to the American peers who will get a 38%, end quote. This shows that immigrant children aren't being given the resources at their younger ages, and in turn are failing their tests. I remember growing up, I failed on my standardized test because since I couldn't read or write, this would not only be my English test, but this would also be my math test because I couldn't read the word problems. So this meant that it would make me feel like I was dumb. Another study done by Anna KCE Foundation, it said only 5% of immigrant children will get a proficient or above while compared to the American peers who will have a 34 end call. This shows that knowing how to read or write and the United States system is so important because if you don't know how to read, it's gonna spill over to your other subjects and you're going to fail them and potentially not passing your grade. The United States system doesn't know how to teach immigrant children how to read or write in English. Is it fair to a concern? No, because it's already hard learning, but to have an extra barrier added and you're not getting the help or resources, you are just left there because I remember every single day I was crying because I couldn't read or write for something that wasn't even my fault. Is it the truth? Yes, this is my experience of what it was growing up as an immigrant child. So how can the United States system better help and teach immigrant children? First, I don't have all the answers, and there's still being many research. But here are my personal suggestions. First, students and teachers need to be more kinder to immigrant children and patient. Will it build goodwill and better friendships? Yes, because immigrant children will feel more comfortable making mistakes and learning if their American peers are more upsetting. So in turn, there will no be no more immigrant children like me who they didn't become good and become a top student because teachers and students were supporting them. They became good because they were looked down upon. Is it benefit, will it benefit all concerned? Yes, because not only will immigrant children be able to reach their full potential, their American peers will learn a valuable lesson. I believe that if we are kind to people when they need it the most, then in turn, when it comes back to you, you will not get a hurtful being, but you will get someone who supports you. How did my story end? By the end of third grade, I became one of the, on my test, I got the top score out of the three third grade classes. And it made me realize that I was never dumb and that the little girl in me, she just needed the right resources to learn. Thank you.